Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the GSMC Hoops and Heels One Sports Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We just got done talking about the U.S. Women's Open with Yugo Sasso taking the lead. And we are now going to talk about the Xfinity U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Now, this is my favorite segment of today. Well, I guess tied with segment because segment five with about the CrossFit semifinals, which you guys definitely should stay tuned for. It's also one of my favorites. But this is particularly a favorite because I attended the meet yesterday. It was, oh my gosh, it was such an amazing experience. I took a bunch of videos. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, you should go check out our YouTube shorts on the GSNC Sports Network YouTube channel. You will not want to miss out on those. I had a good view, so took some good videos. Before we start recapping, I just wanted to say that if you have a chance to go to a professional gymnastics meet like this one, please go. You will not want to miss it. This was such an amazing experience, and literally seeing those gymnasts up so close performing so close is just a whole nother experience and a whole nother perspective. So I'm just saying, just go to a meet like that like please even like a college meet like go it there it's so insane how amazing these gymnasts are and i am very lucky and grateful that i got the opportunity to go okay so now let's get into the actual meet here so if you finish in the all around at first and second place you automatically get to go to the olympic trials And during the meet, people from the selection committee are there to figure out who they want to invite to the trials. They have to invite a minimum of 12 people. I'm thinking about making a segment in the future on who I think is going to be invited in the trials. So let me know if that would be something y'all are interested in hearing about. So now let me tell you guys how the meet went. (laughs) Absolutely no shocker here. Simone Biles won the all around. Um, But she didn't just place first in the all around she also placed first in the vault uneven bars balance beam and floor that's absolutely insane this isn't her first time winning the u.s championships in the all around she also won last year in 2021 2019 2018 2016 2015 2014 and 2013 so this is not a shocker that she won here um it was just it was really great watching her because gosh she's like so speedy and she has like so much power but like is graceful at the same time like i can't like she's literally she's insane so anyway so the senior women they compete twice in the competition and then they combine the scores and that's how they figure out who wins now because i was there yesterday which was the second time they all competed i'm really just going to focus on the details of people's performances from then just because you know it's fresh in my mind and because i literally got to see them compete so close so just wanted to put that disclaimer out there Um, I also did watch videos and clips and everything from the first day as well, but I apologize if I am focusing a lot on the second day. Also, the second day was kind of more interesting. There were definitely some like falls and like deductions that you wouldn't expect to happen. So just putting that out there. Anyway, okay. Simone Biles finished with an all-around score of 119.75. She technically did better on her first day, getting a total score of 60.845 on her first day, and then 59.3 on the second day. Still, her scores on the second day were just so much higher than everyone else's. I mean, she literally placed first in all events, so you would think that her scores were just much higher, to be honest. I want to point out in particular, Biles' vault scores. Yesterday, she got a total of 15 on the vault, but her first vault, she just had too much power and completely fell backwards. And then the second time she did her vault, she did a different type of skill and had a solid landing with a little step back. But she still had the highest vault score because her difficulty was so dang high. It is so insane to me how she just uses so much speed and force in her ball, and then despite sticking the landing or not, she just absolutely dominates everyone else because she does these super challenging skills that not many other people in the competition can do. It just blows me away. Also, her floor routine really stood out to me because she made it look so effortless. She had so many cute performative aspects in the routine, like her landing pose was absolutely amazing and her timing was perfect. She literally would fly in the air and not step out of bounds, so she didn't get any deductions on that part, which has been a bit of a struggle for her in the past, just because, you know, she has so much power and then she flies and then she steps back and then, you know, deduction. That that deduction of getting out of bounds on the floor really makes me mad because it's, like, so frustrating. It's, like, seriously, like, that's what you took off, like, stepping, like, out of bounds. Anyway, that was not a struggle for her yesterday. And then also, leaps were flawless and very oversplit. 
After the competition, Bio said, Today is just getting out here and getting comfortable and confident in my gymnastics and hopefully going to Olympic trials and making that next step towards Paris. So I couldn't be more proud of how I'm doing this time of the year and just getting that confidence over and over, getting myself back in front of a crowd and just doing what I do in practice. She was also asked if she was having fun back in gymnastics because, as we know, she was struggling mentally a few years ago, and in response to that, she said, yeah, everyone says they look like I'm having fun, so that's good because I feel like most of the time if I'm not stressing or having anxiety, I do feel like I'm having fun, so it's good to have that and feel that again. Moving on to second place with Sky Blakely. This makes me so happy. I think she is going to be a strong competitor in the Olympics or contender i if she makes a team after the trials which i have huge confidence that she will i i think she will she had a combined score of 113.85 here with blakely's score you can really see how biles dominated the competition having a five point gap is pretty big so it's very impressive how far biles was compared to the second place anyway back to blakely she did absolutely amazing in all events finishing the top 10 in all four her weakest was the floor, but I really liked her routine. Her level of difficulty was very high considering compared to others, but it was just getting out of bounds that messed her up a bit. Other than that, her floor routine was spectacular. I couldn't really point out any other flaws. I mean, like any other like really noticeable flaws. It was just the stepping out of bounds, which kind of put her on deductions for her floor routine. At third was Kayla DiCello. This also makes me so happy. She is so beautiful. She is so graceful on the beam and floor. And she just has a perfect performative face and moves. Her total all-around score was at 110.8, so fairly close to Blakely. She would have had a better chance of getting in second place if her second day went better. Her first day was great, but her second day was not her best in some parts. She had some fumbling moments on the balance beam, which caused her some deductions despite having a good difficulty level, but it was her uneven bars yesterday that got her down a lot. On the first day, she had a score of 14.5 on the uneven bars, which is so, so good. It was one of the highest scores, but then on the second day, she fell while transitioning from the, the bars. Once she got back up and dismounted, her landing was flawless and she stuck the landing, but having that fall in the middle was pretty detrimental to her score. There were quite a few people that fell on the balance beam yesterday, but I believe she was the only one that fell on the bars, if I'm remembering correctly, which got my attention a bit because the bars is known to be one of her strongest events, so I didn't expect to see her especially fall on the bars. I don't know what happened, but... Um, it definitely, I mean, looking at her score, it didn't ruin it that much. I mean, it wasn't like her best score, but she still was able to place third. So it's okay. You know, if that makes sense. She she definitely would have had a better chance of getting in second place if she didn't have that mess up. Anyway, let's now turn our attentions to fourth place, which was Sunisa Lee. Her combined all-around score was 110.65, so super duper close to Cicello. She was a last full routine yesterday. Let me just say she was an amazing person to put at last because her routine was so flawless. It was like the perfect finale in a musical. And I am so sorry. That is the dorkiest comparison I could have ever made. On the vault yesterday, she had some fumbling. She had some fumbling issues and technically did not do too well, I guess, because of those fumbling issues. Um, just looking at the scores, she also brought down the level of difficulty. So I don't, I don't really know what happened there. I don't know if she had an injury or something. But the reason she was a little able to place fourth was because of her scores from the previous day, and then also she did amazing on the balance beam and bars. On the second day, she had one of the highest scores for the beam, and her routine was very graceful with a solid dismount. And number five, this makes me a bit sad in a way. Jordan Childs placed fifth. And the reason I am sad is because I wanted her to place higher, but at the same time, fifth is still amazing, so it's okay. I just felt like she deserved to be in the top three, but there were some issues in her events yesterday that we were going to talk about. First, I do want to mention something. She is probably one of the most well-liked gymnasts out there, and yesterday was very clear to me why. I've always loved her because she is so confident and supportive of her teammates. Yesterday was so clear how supportive of her teammates she is. During Baza's floor routine, Charles would literally run around the mat to cheer on her teammate. Little things like that make a huge difference, especially in the public eye. And I don't know, it just really got me thinking about how amazing gymnasts are so supportive of one another and also how amazing she would be on the Olympic team. Again, because we all know that she would 
obviously would always support her teammates, which is very crucial for an Olympic team. They want to succeed, you know, so she would be perfect. <laughs> um, also, just she is very much like interactive with the crowd, if that makes sense. She does her, um, what's it called? The World Champion Center is where she is from, which is the same gym that Biles trains at, and that is in Texas. So she had a lot of fans there, um, <laughs> Childs did. So, and she was very interactive with the fans. It was very awesome. So now let's actually talk about how she did. She had a combined score of 110.35, so literally 0.5 less than Sunisa Lee's score, which means that Childs literally could have been fourth place if there were minor, minor fixes and changes or whatnot. On the first day, her floor score was not the best because she had trouble going out of bounds. On the second day, everything was great, but the balance beam. She fell during her beam routine, which really hurt her score. She ended up having a really good dismount, but it wasn't a great routine for her considering she did pretty well on the beam before, on the day before, and had that fall. Other than that, her vault and uneven bar score on both days were so strong. She is such a powerhouse. She stuck the landing on the bars yesterday and on the vault both days, she literally flew. Also, I want to mention that Childs has that perfect performative aspect in her floor routine that makes her so in, like so fun to watch. The little quirks and faces that Biles does in her routine is pretty similar to Childs. <laughs> Childs and Biles, I think like, their last names like, kind of rhyme. Except um, Childs makes her more sassy, if that makes sense. Like she did some fun little moves to the audience. It was just different. Like most, like it was very performative and it was so fun to watch. And I actually think that helped her score a lot on the second day. I think it's really awesome that she's like that for sure. Like she's not just like a professional gymnast. She is a performer at the same time. The Flora team is very different from other events, like in general, because the gymnasts really put their personalities into it. And especially the gymnastics that are from Childs and I'm sorry, the gymnasts that are from Childs and Bios's gyms, which is the World Champion Center. They all have the same like they do like their little quirks and personality moves in their routine. So I don't know if that's something that comes from their gym or is taught at their gym, but they very much like all have that good characteristics in their flow routine, which I admire so much. So I am talking so, so much. And I really wanted to share more information about the meet and how sixth, seventh and eighth place did. So stay tuned for some other episode because I'm most likely going to be talking about that as well. So we're now going to move on to our next segment where we talk about the Women's Softball World Series. Before we get into that, we are going to be taking a very short break, so I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> 